So leave this in here for now. Fries are cold. Huh? The fries are cold, but that's okay. Yeah, but Grandma, come here. Oh, they got they got veal schnitzel downstairs. They do. Yes, and I'm gonna give me, and it's only twenty euro. It's our first day in Germany, in Frankfurt. Yes. And we're in where? In Kaiserslautern. Kaiserslautern. Yes. Kaiserslautern is where we're at, at this really cute bed and breakfast. Yes, it's beautiful. I'm finally awake after uh, I had a pumpkin. I mean, falling asleep on me while we, she's the one giving me directions. I was so tired. Yeah. And... I kind of learned how to drive manual. <laughs> That's the car we have. I can drive manual, but Jasmine's gonna learn how to drive manual. Yeah, I'm gonna learn We're how gonna to do it in the parking lot over there. Okay, I'm so that I mean that's really cool that I'm learning how to drive manual. Yeah, you in need to learn Germany. how to. Yeah. So, so when you come back or you go somewhere that they drive manual, you mm -hmm. can do that. Yeah. So, okay. all right, I'm gonna let you go, yeah. and I'm gonna continue eating. Yeah, let me get mine too. Here, here's um, your food. I guess I should, what time is it? But you have 9% battery life remaining. Oh gosh. That's okay. Yeah. It's just your watch. It's not like you really yeah. need it. Anyways, we got five guys from Ramstein on base. Ramstein, your base. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways. Shoes we went to Ramstein, was it? Ramstein Air Base. We went to Ramstein Air Base and got coffee she got a decaf and i got a latte pumpkin I'm spice so latte ready. so we went to ramstein air force base got myself a visitor pass and um got ourselves some coffee i got myself a pumpkin spice latte because that was the first thing that i saw and i was like that's what i'll get and she got herself a decaf white chocolate mocha and my latte really woke me up and then afterwards I learned how to drive manual a little bit almost I wouldn't say I almost have it but it's um it's uh, it's a work in progress and then we went to five guys and got ourselves some burgers to eat because I haven't really eaten all day I had like a little cookie from the dinner um flight that we had last night we flew united coming into Frankfurt um and then we'll fly out using Lufthansa um, going back to Denver so we're just gonna eat our food get ready my grandma has a meeting that she has to prep for so that's what she's gonna do and I'm gonna eat my food and probably knock out afterwards I might read the rest of my book because it's got into a really good uh, point within the book so this is pretty much our first day is just driving from Frankfurt into Kaiserslautern and then headed up to Ramstein Air Force Base. Got a few things, AKA coffee. Oh, and we decided to do a tour uh, Tomorrow, Saturday. Saturday. We're going to France. <laughs> that was not a part of our itinerary. I mean, we didn't really have an itinerary we kind of did. Shout out to my best friend, Melanie. Thank you so much for creating the itinerary for us. Um, but it was definitely loose. It was like a loose itinerary of like things that we could do and suggestions. And my grandma wanted to do like some travel tour option. And so we're going to uh, do a champagne tour on the outskirts of France. We're going to champagne country on Saturday, which is crazy. But today is Thursday. I think tomorrow we might go to Munich or we might go to Munich on Sunday, but we don't really have plans. Uh, yeah, I need Sunday to look at our- would be the best time to go to Munich. Yeah, I think Sunday would be better because then it wouldn't cost as much to take the train down. It would still be the same amount of time, which I'm thinking like if it's still gonna be the same amount of time, but a train would be a nice experience though. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, might as well take the train at least once while we're here. Anyways, I'm gonna eat and we'll talk to y'all most likely tomorrow. Good morning. It is currently 7.55. We are going to head to breakfast now. 
at our bed and breakfast here. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. So we'll oh, see you there. In pictures, though. <clears throat> we just finished eating breakfast and I have gotten ready for the day. As you can see, I did a little bit of makeup. Honestly, it is a little bit because I just have concealer on with blush. I just don't have foundation on. That's like the only thing. It's just concealer, blush, a little bit of bronzer, and then eye makeup and that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, I'm going to practice more uh, driving manual today this morning it's currently like 9 15 so Graham is currently getting ready in the bathroom and then we're gonna go down to the parking lot and practice I'm gonna practice uh, driving manual and then we're gonna head up to Heidelberg so very excited also our first night sleeping in was like great it was so good Oh my gosh. Um, like, that duvet is so warm. It's so warm and so cozy. <sighs> Just all the hook of vibes. I'm also very glad that I brought an umbrella. We checked the weather before coming, so I was like, it's probably, it's gonna rain a little bit while we're here. But yeah, very excited. I'm very excited to be here. We're already thinking about like next year where we want to go and i said the netherlands or norway would be really nice i mean honestly if i could go back to iceland <laughs> i would 100 percent but i'm gonna enjoy my time in germany right now and we're gonna have a great have a great time it's just so it's just so beautiful like the weather's perfect. I love this type of weather, like nice fall weather, crisp air. So, anyways, we're gonna get ready. Well, my grandma's gonna finish getting ready. Um, I thought I had like a spider web on me. Um, my grandma's gonna get finished getting ready, and then we're gonna head out and practice driving manual before we go to Heidelberg. But yeah, I didn't realize that we weren't gonna be staying in Frankfurt. I thought that's where we were, I knew that's where we were flying into, but I thought we were staying in Frankfurt. We're actually staying in Kaiserslautern, um, which is really close to Ramstein Air Force Base, which we went to yesterday, as I mentioned. So I'm kind of interested in like speaking German fluently just because it sounds so interesting. Like the way that they say things, it sounds very be beautiful to me. Um, and fun and also the people here are just like so nice so nice i might wear these while driving uh because my hokas are pretty thick so that is uh what what i'll do most likely i also got this like handheld um tripod that helps you start the camera i feel very official with it but also it's kind of big. <laughs> I mean, it's not that, it's not as big as a DSLR, but still it's kind of massive. Anyways, I'm pretty much ready for the day. I'm just gonna read. I've been reading this book called The Vanishing Half. That is so good. I'm like this much through. 
I have very little left, honestly. It's gotten to a really good point. It was very slow at first for me, but I feel like all books are always slow at the beginning for me. So it takes some time getting used to, but I feel like this book is getting me back into reading. And it's not even like a genre that I normally read. I normally read fantasy books. So, and this is not fantasy at all. Like, it's just really, The Vanishing Half is, it covers a lot of themes um, in our world today that's happening. I wanna say, but I also don't wanna give too much away. Also, is that a caterpillar? Oh, that's just a nail. Okay. So, just had my lesson. How did it go, Grandma? You did good. You, you, you. The thing is, you understand now what you need to do. Yeah. Because you did it. You went around and you did it. Yeah. You felt it. Mm -hmm. You know what you had to do. Yeah. So we can do this. I don't you feel. Can drive. I don't feel comfortable going on the highway though. No. Okay. But well, we're in a we're area that you feel comfortable with. You can try it again. Yeah. Okay. I can like shift pretty okay. I mean, this was like my second day. The first day was... Did you bring any uh, things for the, um, the the phones? No. I should have. Yeah. Well, it's because this is different. That's why I didn't bring it. Oh, okay. So I just need to leave my phone in um, low power battery mode. But hold on. Let me uh, get us to Heidelberg. Then turn right. Am I okay? Uh, yeah. You're good to continue going. Sure. Yeah, you're good. Okay, now you can go forward. You can only turn left though. Okay, sorry. We can't go out the other way. All right, now we're on our way to Heidelberg. We'll see y'all there. sign okay. we're heading to Heidelberg Castle right now we just stopped at this place called Cafe Milder so I can get a chai and, got me a five minute and get her a five-minute nap what um, am I doing? going straight up straight up yeah um, <laughs> and I got the green chai it's like with vanilla honestly the best chai I've ever had we'll be careful of these trash bins Yeah, we're you just heading up. I understand that if I don't, <laughs> I'm, you know, the, 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 this, these roads are narrow. Uh, these roads are narrow. 
but we're in Heidelberg. It's such a cute town, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do a switchback. It's gonna be like steep. Good job. I can't do this. Turn left, then turn left. Ooh. I know it may seem like, but I gotta give the other person a chance to get into it. And then we're gonna turn left here. Like it's sharp. In here? Yes. Oh. Were you kidding me? Are oh, you actually, sure? just kidding. Uh, go back. Can you reverse? Yeah. Oh my god. I can. <laughs> Sorry. What are we doing? Uh, we're gonna go straight. Mm. Just be careful. I am. Anybody's coming. I want to make sure nobody behind. You know, I'm not yeah, kidding. Nobody's. Okay, we're gonna go that way. Uh, that blue car. I thought I was in first gear. The reality of getting here yesterday is jet lag. She is tired and so am I. So we're probably gonna take a nap in the car for a little bit. But we just parked. And I'm not sure if parking is free. I'm pretty sure it's not because the sign that I saw earlier requires a parking ticket. Um, and I don't have enough coins for it. But we're just gonna, I'm just gonna take like a 20 minute power nap and then I'll probably head down to the castle and see if I can get change so we can park longer. But yeah, I'm like looking at parking in Heidelberg and apparently it's not easy to park here. We did not know that, <laughs> but that's okay. But it's a beautiful little town, so I'm gonna head into Heidelberg and hopefully get myself a ticket to go inside. So I came inside, well, I'm really outside, but Grandma's waiting in the car because honestly, there's a lot of stairs. There are some ramps, but it is kind of wet. She doesn't feel comfortable going, so I'm just gonna explore a little bit by myself. I will say, if you ever come to Heidelberg, make sure you have at least 10 to 20 pounds, uh, not 10 to 20 coins and euros so that you can pay for parking because the parking meters do not accept bills and foreign cards. So yeah, that's a very important tip if you're ever gonna come to Heidelberg is just to have coins, lots of coins and euros instead of bills, like paper. So I'm gonna head back to the car now and try to drive manual in the city. I just gotta do it, gotta get over my fear and I just gotta do it. This is beautiful. Father God, thank you for this food we're about to eat you. It's such a blessing. It blesses us for partaking it. Lord, it blesses him to keep him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
it's so hot. It's hot, hot. Yeah, the, the jelly. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I didn't know I was getting this. Mm. And then schnitzel. I don't know what their schnitzel tastes like. Veal schnitzel. This is where I used to buy it. This was dinner. What? What did they put in there? Champagne. They still put the champagne in there? That's okay. I'll taste it. Try it. <laughs> to put your already? Yeah. Okay. Decided to go for an after dinner walk because I'm very stuffed <laughs> and I just need to like walk it off. But it's still kind of bright outside, which is nice, as you can see. In my little trench coat with my scarf. I just thought I'll just walk around here, take some pictures of the buildings here because they're just so cute and nice. And it just looks like such a cozy place. I think I might go back that way, which is where we're staying at Hotel Burgerschrank. I could for sure be saying that wrong, so I apologize if I am butchering the names of things. But I am trying. I am trying. Because it's getting uh, pretty dark and don't want to be out here too late by myself. But yeah, pretty good day. We didn't do too much. I mean, we drove to Heidelberg and back, which each way was about an hour and 15 minutes, give or take. And then, yeah, just got food at the bed and breakfast, which I'm taking it in this little area that we're in. Uh, the bed and breakfast has several like buildings throughout this neighborhood. It's really nice though. Um, and very cozy. So yeah, I'm literally walking up a hill, as you can see. So I'm kind of winded. But oh, you can really see into that house. Anyways. I just need to catch my breath. Baby boy, let me catch my breath. But that is it for day two. Tomorrow, we are in France, which is kind of crazy to think about. I didn't, the thing is like when we booked this trip, When we booked this trip, we were just thinking of staying in Germany, but then when we went to the travel agency and they had really affordable tickets to go do a champagne tour in France, we thought, why not? It costs about $300 for two people at the time of this exchange rate from the US dollar to euros. So it was about 138 is at 138 I believe euros per person but yeah we said why not why not just go it'll be fun and we wanted to do a tour anyway so glad that we get to do this <laughs> um, but yeah we were not expecting to go into a different country this trip so have to make sure to bring my passport tomorrow because we we're crossing borders 
um, and don't want any issues, you know what I mean? Like, bring a passport. But I think the following day we might try to go to Munich, take a train. But something that we have now discovered is that you need to have at least like 10 to 20 euros in coins so you can pay for parking or, you know, get public transport because it's not really going to accept your card and it's not going to accept like bills, euro, cash, bills type of thing. So make sure you have that, especially if you go to Heidelberg, have coins, at least 10 to 20 euros worth of coins because it's a, it costs a euro to park for 20 minutes. So I would say you would need at least 10 to 20 euros if you're going to be staying there for a few hours walking around the city and stuff like that because everything's very walkable there are stairs every now and then but yeah anyways that is it for day two we'll see you tomorrow on the bus i also might drive to ramstein which is like 15 minutes from here um so wish me luck hopefully i, I am able to drive stick learning manual at the big age of 30 is hard <laughs> and kind of frustrating but we're getting there